Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is December the 1st, 2023, the last month of the year. And it is one of those wet, overcast winter days. Uh, December the 1st, it's officially winter. And uh, we're doing a video of a uh, Daihatsu S110P for Joe. And uh, Joe lives in Ohio. This is a 1997 Daihatsu Hijet four-wheel drive, five-speed with 22,087 miles. So we, uh, we do try to, um, you know, uh, get nice stuff. And I have a feeling this is, this is gonna be a nice truck. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What I'd like to do is um, kind of go around the truck. We'd like to start at the front, go around the windshield, and then uh, just look at every uh, angle of the vehicle uh, and try to find any damage. Uh, <clears throat> so we will start at the windshield and kind of go around the perimeter of the windshield. And you can see here, it has some little pebble pecks where a rock on the highway went doink and chipped the paint. And now you have a little, um, a little uh, spot there where the, um, where, where it flash rusted. And so we're gonna come around the windshield and it looks nice, it looks good, just little Little pebble pecks, which are pretty common. Uh, just a little surface rust right there. And now we're gonna look across the front of the vehicle and it does not have any dents or dings on the front, which is nice. And the door, I can see one very tiny ding right there almost imperceptible, but extremely straight on this door. Uh, just looks like the paint might have gotten chipped right there. It's not down to the metal, it's down to the primer. Um, now let's look at the inside of the wheel housing. That looks very nice. And the bed side panel is very straight i don't see any dings at all all right now let's look under the bed and here's the frame the frame of the truck has just got what's called seam rust very common where the two pieces of metal were flash welded together or spot welded together uh, but the frame is in very good condition and this is the underside of the bed. That's your, um, that's your air filter box. Now, let's look under the bed mat. See what it looks like under there. Boy, that is beautiful. Man, oh man, is that nice. <laughs> I mean, that is gorgeous. Stainless steel bolts, that's always nice. Um, but yeah, can't ask for anything better than that. And I uh, just got some scuffs there. Now let's look at this side. Uh, so what's happened is the bed mat got caught under that side. Okay, beautiful absolutely gorgeous just these are scratches no big deal okay bed mats are nice they really do a good job protecting the uh the uh not just the finish but also from dents and dings now i see um some dings i think one there so one there one there the plastic looks really nice. And let's see. No dings at all on this side. 
That is really, really nice. Again, let me get under the bed here so you can see what you can see. There we go. Okay, now, this is beautiful, this truck, it's really nice. Now we're gonna come down the door post and look at the condition of this door. And guys, I don't think there's a single ding on this whole door. Nice. Now, let's look at the inside of the wheel, uh, the inside of the inner fender or the wheel housing. Now, let's look at the inside of the passenger door. Look at a very, very nice. And look under the mat. That's beautiful. Sometimes when I video these, I lift this mat and there's water under there. And somebody said, why is there water under there? And that's because our guy hoses out the floor area and, um, and it just takes a few days to dry out. Boy, look at that. Man, is that beautiful. <sighs> that is so nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a five-speed truck, which means it'll get up to, um, you know, like 55, 60 miles an hour. All right, now let's look at the inside of the driver's door. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. There we go. Boy, these seats are beautiful. Not a single tear or separation or anything. That's just some thread. All right. So now, we're gonna take it for a drive. And, so we wanna make sure we're in two wheel drive. So that's two wheel drive. And when we depress that button, it goes into four wheel drive and you see that light turn on there. So that's how you turn on the four wheel drive and how you turn it off on a Dahatsu. So now, Boy, the power steering, I mean, this doesn't have power steering, but the steering is effortless in this truck. And that's why somebody yesterday said, does it have power steering? And you know, you're used to power steering being really important in a mini truck. I mean, in a vehicle, but it's just not that big a deal in a mini truck because it just doesn't take much to steer. And that's because the truck doesn't weigh much. So now, we're going down this hill and we're gonna get it up to speed. And then I'm gonna turn around and come back up the hill. So the purpose of that is to see how the truck does um, under you know uh, a uh, challenging set of circumstances like going uphill and we're gonna go in a high gear. Mayberry Mini Trucks got the law passed in North Carolina making mini trucks street legal. And there's no extra charge for anything. We don't charge extra, like no dock fee or anything like that. So this is 100 kilometers per hour, which is 62 miles per hour. And it handles just fantastic, no problem. This is an extremely low mileage truck, which has a lot to do with that. Now, we're going to make a U-turn and go up the hill. That's third gear, fourth gear. Now, that's fifth gear. So now, let's see what it's like 
going, now we're going up this hill. I know it's hard to tell, but we're going up a pretty steep hill in fifth gear. So, now, this is Roger. Hello, Roger. Nice looking truck. And uh, now, we're gonna go around this 90 degree turn and we're still in fifth gear. Check this out. So now we're going 35 kilometers per hour up a hill in fifth gear. Now this is not some little hill. This is a steep hill and we're in fifth gear guys climbing a hill at, at 22 miles per hour and it's accelerating. So you see the speed is increasing and that's incredible. So that means this, is, this truck has excellent compression um, and excellent horsepower. So there you go. That is the big, big takeaway from this test drive. So I'm very happy to say this truck did fantastic on our test drive. It, um, it has really good power and it looks beautiful too. So uh, if, uh, if, um, if, if you're interested in this uh, vehicle, let us know. You can call us at 336-777-9957, Joe. And um, <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you're interested, um, just give us a call and let us know. Uh, it did very well. And um, we changed the oil in this with full synthetic diesel, um, I'm sorry, full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. And we changed the air filter, we changed the oil filter, and if anything is wrong with it, we get it dialed in. Uh, we have a service department and we service what we sell. Uh, we also um, deliver, we charge $2.50 per mile one way and uh, we are open from Tuesday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and um, now that it's getting dark so early we changed our hours we close at 5 we used to close at 6 we close at 5 and uh, so yeah we appreciate you watching our video and if you would please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and hit notification and that way will um, increase our subscribers and that helps our search analytics. We surpassed 4,000 subscribers and uh, so you know that's a great thing and we appreciate you guys um, for subscribing and helping us get there and thank you for watching our video.